Now this is a really cool axe. Uses a 360 and I'm using brown. Got about four or five inches uninflated. And then I've got a gray 260 with about probably four inches uninflated on it. We're gonna start with our gray and make a blade. What you wanna do with that is I'm gonna start by making at the very beginning a pair of pinch twists. Make a little round bubble, make it a pinch twist. Another round bubble, make that a pinch twist as well. So you've got the two pinch twists on the end. And you're gonna make about a five inch bubble followed by a pinch twist. Another five inch bubble and another pinch twist. And then one more bubble, same size. And there's your first half of your axe. And now with the other one, we're gonna make slightly smaller. So we're gonna make about a four inch bubble. Pinch twist, same. This is a little less, about a three and a half inch bubble. And then another four inch bubble, same size as that first one, or well, that first one on this side. And then what's left, this is like the old battle axes that had the the spike seeking up in the middle there. And that's basically the head of your axe. Now we're gonna take our 360. What you wanna do is you're gonna take your knot and the nozzle and twist it up in there. And it joins up right in the middle. And then if you'll take this and wrap it around a time or two, it'll pull it up in there a little snugger. So it pulls on just a bit tighter. Line it up just like that. Now figure out how long you want your handle. Just like on our hammers, if you've seen that already. Pop off the excess and tie it. Trim it. It's all sitting straight. And there, you have a battle axe. Again, pretty sturdy.